What's up, Warriors? Today we're going to be doing workout of the day number nine. I am joined by my dad, who is a master's student over at Team UCT, along with myself, Bachelor Bill, um, and my partner for the Spartan race that we'll be running in December. Today we are going to be doing the competitive workout that I like to call the Pyramid of the Giza or the Giza Necropolis. The reason being is because you're going to feel dead after this. Um, what it is is essentially three basic workouts that you will do in a pyramid fashion. You will start with five, work up to 10, 15, 20, 25, and then come back down to 20, 15, 10, five. After each workout, you're gonna be doing some kind of uh, endurance hold. So you'll be doing front knee rest, the elbow plank, and then the wall sit. Uh, the idea that makes it competitive is that uh, whoever is able to hold that uh, endurance hold the longest uh, will get a break from having to do uh, more of the next exercise. So for instance, if I or, my, or myself or my dad uh, was able to hold the front lean rest longer, then what they would do is their cap would not be at 25, but at 20. So they would go 5, 10, 15, 20, 15, 10, 5. Kind of saves them from doing about 45 reps. Uh, and that will happen for uh, the front lean rest will affect your sit-ups, and then the plank will affect your uh, air squats. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so first one that you're going to be doing is going to be your basic push-up. Um, the way these are going to work is that, uh, and what also makes it more competitive, is that once you finish, uh, you just wait for the last person to finish, whoever it is. You can have a group of two, five, ten, whatever. Um, the 15-second timer will start after the last person finishes, which kind of makes it competitive in the sense that you finish faster. Uh, you don't have to worry about uh, unless you endurance running out as fast as someone who always finishes last. So. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the first part of the pyramid. Uh, I'm just going to kind of montage and fast forward a lot of these. Uh, that way you're not watching minutes on, on minutes of working out. So, someone's going to say go. And that's when you're going to uh, start your push-ups. And then the 15 second timer will stop once the uh, slowest person finishes. Alright, and go. And then we start a 15 second timer. And now let's say 15 second timer done, get back in position. And then now you're doing 10, go. And timer starts. And you're gonna repeat this process all the way up. 15, 20, 25, 20, 15, 10, five. And then finally, you're going to get to your endurance workout. So for the push-ups, the best one you can do is the front knee rest. So start start knees down in this ready position. I'm going to say set, come up, and go. And they'll start a timer. And what you want to do is you want to have someone with either a watch or a visible phone pet timer to where everyone can see it. And then just kind of laugh every time someone goes down. So for example, just to make you feel better, I'm gonna fall, boom, okay. And then, so I did, let's say 20 seconds, and then he can finish like a second after me. You go ahead and fall. What's gonna happen is now for the sit-ups, he doesn't have to do uh, the 25 or one of the 20s because 20 is now his peak. So let's go ahead and go to the sit-ups. Now the next one that we're gonna be doing is gonna be your basic sit-up. Um, so it's gonna be hands behind the head. Like I've told you in the recent videos, to alleviate pressure on the neck, Make sure you kind of keep your hands either off your head or next to your ears. Uh, you don't want any of that unnecessary pressure, but you also want to make sure you're relying on your abdominals to actually lift you up. So you're going to come back in the starting position. And then someone's going to say go, and you're going to start with five. And go. And then you start your timer. And it's going to run the same way. Now, with a lot of these, um, you are going to be uh, kind of you're going to throw them the same way. Um, however, since you won the last one, the last competition, hypothetically, um, let's say we're going and we get to 20. So we'll go ahead and do the 20 real quick. Ready? And go. Now, the timer will not start 
for when he's finished, it'll start when the last person who didn't win finishes. So it would start whenever I get done. He is going to take a break for the next 45 reps, whereas I will have to start after my five second rest on 25. So um, then what we're going to do for this last one, uh, after everyone's done with the five, you go into the elbow plank. So let's go ahead. Are you ready? And go. Try to keep your back straight. Try not to adjust too much. If you need to like quickly adjust, don't stay in there too much. And then Mr. Chiropractic over here is gonna fall. <laughs> I'm gonna still have a little bit of time. And eventually I'm gonna fall. And then now when we move on to the air squats. I will get a break from the 25 and the 20 because my peak will be 20 and he will have to do the 25. Now this last one you're going to be doing is going to be your basic air squat. Um, best way to make sure that you're doing it properly, make sure when you're coming down, put the pressure towards uh, your toes, keep your balance on your heels, uh, make sure your knees aren't doing any pelvis or varus movements, and make sure you're coming down as if you're trying to sit on a bench. So if you can get the 90 degrees, then you're good to go. So you're going to say go, and we're going to start at 5. Ready? Go. And then you take a 15 second break, again, like the last two. Uh, difference with this one is once you're gonna, uh, once you get done with your entire pyramid, you're gonna go into a wall squat. Let's just pretend we have walls. So, you go into the wall squat, and someone's gotta time it, and go. Got this one, so. And so now what ends up happening, and the best way to do it is try to keep your back straight. It's kinda hard to do it like this, but work with what you can. And on this one, because it does not have um, an exercise following it. Uh, this one's just for the competitive nature of who can finish it, the, uh, who can get the most time out of it. My virus is kicking in, so I'm gonna come up. And Dad's gonna come up afterwards. So those are gonna be your very simple movements. Like I said, this one's gonna be a very competitive workout. Uh, the more people you have, the more competitive it is. And if you're really good at doing these properly and quickly, then you get a lot of extra rest. So that has been our workout. I'm gonna go ahead and break down what we're gonna be doing next week. Uh, next week we will be posting, or I will be posting our first OCR workout of the day. Uh, the OCR is the obstacle course race or obstacle course run. Um, that's what we're gonna be doing. This one will require some equipment. If you have access to a gym, you're set. If not, try to work with some stuff at home. Uh, first one, like I said, from a few weeks back is gonna be the one with your backpack. So make sure you just have your backpack Fill with some stuff, kind of get it at a pretty good weight. If you need to check, step on the scale, put your backpack on, step on the scale, gives you a pretty good determination of how much weight you have in your backpack. As for now, it's been James and my dad with TMUC T Campus Rec, and we'll see you guys later.